Your wallet, your bank account. You keep a close eye on them. You pay for your groceries. You pay for your car. You pay for your stuff. You pay for your roads, your schools, the things we all share. You know what else you're paying for? Carbon pollution. Oh yes, you're paying for carbon. Science tells us carbon pollution is the leading cause of climate disruption. The burning of dirty energy is raising our planet's temperatures, which makes extreme and erratic weather more likely. The result? You've been living in it. 2012 was the hottest year in the United States since weather scientists started keeping records. Mm. And half of all U.S. counties were declared disaster zones due to last summer's crippling drought. And because of the droughts, wildfires scorched one and a half times more land than usual. On the East Coast, crazy storms have led to record-breaking flooding. We've always had extreme weather, but now, thanks to carbon pollution, we have weather on steroids. And we're paying for it. Congress has agreed on more than $50 billion in relief for the victims of Superstorm Sandy. The costliest global disasters of 2012 were Hurricane Sandy, cost $65 billion. What? And the year-long Midwest Plains drought that cost us $35 billion. No way. Drought relief, disaster relief, battling wildfires, building seawalls. All these expenses add up. And that's the price of carbon. But big oil isn't paying. <laughs> and big coal isn't paying. <laughs> they are using the atmosphere as an open sewer while you are paying the tab. Through taxes, medical bills, higher food prices, insurance rates, and more. But no wallet in the world is big enough. It's time to take action. It's time to tell the world. We are paying the price of carbon. It's time to put a price on carbon and make the polluters stop the carbon destruction. Tell your friends, tell our leaders, it's time to have the carbon conversation. I think that's everything.